Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. Welcome everybody to the third video in the Let's Build a Network series. So let's do a quick recap on what we did in the, in the, in the first and the second video. As you can see on the screen, we more or less built what's up here. So we have the three switches. So the two edge switches connected to the 3810. We did the cabling and we configured the management VLAN. So what I did before I started this video is I already connected into port 46 because this is one of the UNTEC ports we don't use yet. I connected my laptop and gave my laptop uh, an IP address in the same uh, netmask, so in the same subnet, so that I can start to communicate via Telnet with all these devices. So the first thing we are going to do now is making sure we're going to upgrade the switches. And I don't going to upgrade the switches all in the same manner because I think, well, if I create this video anyhow, I can just rather show uh, multiple options. So the first options we're going to do is I'm going to upgrade the 3810 switch with via USB. So I copy, I downloaded the image from the web and I will show you the, uh, in the, the web link into this, uh, into this video so that you can see where you can immediately click on and where you can download all the images you need for your environment. Um, this, so I will do, and I put that image on the USB stick and I will do the 3810 upgrade via USB. The 3500 we're going to do by plain old TFTP and the 2910 we're going to do via HTTP so that you can see three different upgrade technologies. They are well described in all the different manual, but then you can select what you find the best and easiest way uh, for your infrastructure. Therefore, it was also important that we have this management VLAN up and running so that we can connect to all these devices via these different technologies. Okay, so let's dive into now what is needed for the 3810 to do via the USB because that's the device we're going to start with. So let me move one slide down here. So what are we going to do? is we're going to put the USB stick in the switch and we're going to connect via Telnet. Then we're going to see it there to view the listing of the USB. We're going to have a little bit of a view of what's in the flash of this, uh, uh, which images are in the flash of the 3810 at the moment. We're going to do a show, a show version to see the active image where the switch is booted on. Then we're going to do a copy USB flash, so we copy from the USB to flash and we give the image name and we're going to copy it in my case into the secondary flash. If you type primary, you're going to copy it in the primacy, primary flash. So you need to figure out where you wanted to have this, uh, this image on. Optionally, you can do set uh, the default uh, image where you want to boot from. So if you want to boot from secondary, you can say, okay, boot, set default, flash, secondary, to make sure that you always boot by default from that particular flash. And I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to say, okay, boot, system, flash, secondary, and, we, and the system will start to go reboot uh, from the secondary image. Okay, so that's well done. So let's now connect the USB key, and I will also show in which port on the switch I'm connected. Um, so you can see uh, which which USB where the USB is and which port we have the, my laptop connected. Okay, great. You can see which port that was. So now let's type to see if you can see some dear command, and we can see the USB image. As you can see, there is only one file, a .swi file. That's this particular image that was at this particular time, the latest image I could find uh, on the web. So that's the image we're going to use. So let's type in the show flash command. Oh, let's type in again the show flash command, but then in the right format. Uh, as you can see on the show flash, I have a primary image. That's why I have 16.02. And I have another image running on the secondary image. As you can see, primary boot ver uh, ROM version, secondary boot ROM version. Default boot image is primary. So that's this one. That's where we are 
Um, that's the default boot image, and the default boot ROM is also the primary ROM. Okay, so that's what's on my uh, image. And I said we are going to replace the secondary image with the image we downloaded on the USB key. So let's also have a look what is the active image we are running on at the moment. So with the show version command, we can see that this is the image running. That's the primary image. And also the uh, active boot drum is also primary. Okay, so now we know everything. Now we can start copying the image over. And we're copying it from USB to flash. And the image name is kw underscore zero or uh, 16 underscore zero two underscore 0014 dot SWI and we're going to copy it in the secondary image in my case and it's not it is dot and here we go this is the command so let's kick it off secondary image will be deleted yes now is the copying in progress so let's wait a couple of seconds so that it can be copied from the USB key into the secondary flash. Okay, as you can see it is validating and writing the system software now to the file system and it is done. Let's do a show flash. As you can see, the secondary image is now changed to this particular software version. But um, we we can we can uh, set the, the change the default by the boot set default flash command. I'm not going to do that right now. Now I'm going to do a boot system flash, and I'm going to do a secondary, and that's it. So that's the command I'm going to use. What will happen now? Is the system will go and reboot and using the secondary image. So let's do this. So my session is of course stopped because I'm not connected via the console port, but I was connected via the telnet command, so that's why you see session stop. System is now booting, and when it is boot up, we are going to do a verification. Of, uh, of what version we are running at the moment. If it is the right version, then we upgraded the 38 time switch via USB, and we will move on to the uh, to the 3500 to do it via uh, TFTP, but then another image, of course. So let's give the switch a couple of seconds to boot up before we continue. Okay, let's see, we can do an R to restart the session. And we are back up and running. Okay, so we are connected to the switch again uh, after the reboot. So let's do a show version to see if we are booted in the right. And yes, you can see we are booted in the 020014. And we are booting from the secondary image. So if you do a show flash again, you can see that the secondary image is the one we uploaded it. So great. 3810, our core switch is upgraded to the latest version that was available on the on the web page. Um, now let's move on to the 3500 to do upgrade that one via TFTP. So everything ready to upgrade the 3500 via the TFTP of the Pro. We are connected to the switch via Telnet and we have our commands line ready. Show flush, show version, I don't need to explain to you. We're going to show them on the switch in a second. Don't explain them anymore. As you can see here, we do two times a copy TFTP. Why two times? Because before you upgrade a switch, you always need to verify with the show flash and show version commands what kind of version you're running. Then you download the latest version, in my case, K1602014, which I want to have on the switch. And also verify the release notes and then see if you need to have an intermediate upgrade before you can reach your end image. In my case, I need to move from, I need to install 1518.0013. And after that, when I have that version running, I can go to 1602. So that's why I do this here to show you importance of release notes, verifying what you need to do, and then start to roll these commands. So the command works as copy from TFTP server to flash 
this is the IP address and this is the image name and then the place of the image, either primary or secondary. Okay, of course we can set uh, the, the default boot from primary or secondary flash or and then we can boot the system into a certain flash. So you can see here, we have a TFTP server running on this particular IP address. Uh, we have the directory ready with all the images in there. And these are the two images we are going to, uh, to install on the switch. So let's move to the switch. And let's verify what is running on the switch. Show flash. So I have running 1515. Um, that's also my uh, primary image. And if I do show version, you can see that this one is also the booted version, so the active. So it means that somewhere in the release notes, probably there is that I need to move from 15, 15 or 14 to 15, 18 first before I can go to my end image 16. Okay, so let's start copy from TFTP to flash. This is the IP address of the TFTP server. The image we're going to install first is 15, 18, 0013.swi put it into primary and then we will allow no signature let me explain it you can see it already here let me copy also here is that from a certain version um, HP Aruba went to uh, a digital code signing which is very good from security but probably you need some hardware I think like a TPM chip or something to do this code signing and that chip is not in this particular switch, so therefore I do the allow no signature. Yeah, so let me see if this will work. We go enter and see if something happens. Yes, we will delete it. And you can see here immediately that the file is being downloaded from the TFTP server. Let's wait a couple of seconds that it can be downloaded. What you will see afterwards is that it will validate and will install the image right into the primary flash. Here you go, validating and writing software to the file system. Okay, perfect. Let's verify what's happened here. Show flash. As you can see, the image we, uh, we installed is now running as primary flash. So what are we going to do now is boot this switch into this software version before we upgrade it to the 1602 version. Then if I do this command, boot system, boot system flash, and then in the primary, it will reboot. But, and when it's rebooting, we will start focusing on um, upgrading the 2920 via the web interface. Then we come back to this switch and we, we do the final upgrade. Okay, so let's do this command. Yes, that's what we want. Let's move over to the 2920. This is the web interface of the 2120. I'm connected. You can see 192.168.100.3. Um, you can see there's a 2920 switch here. So if you want to upgrade via the web, we do. Let me make sure we copy this directory first so that I don't need to type this. You go to System, Updates and Downloads. You can see in the secondary image we don't have anything, but I'm going to put it in the primary image because I also want to reboot it via the uh, uh, via, via the uh, uh, the button here on the web interface. So I'm going to update it. I'm going to choose a file. Okay, there we can see. I'm going to select uh, W1602014. Open, save it. Yes, now it will upload via HTTP my image file to the um, uh, the primary image okay it's in there so now if you reboot the switch will be rebooted yes now it will reboot and load into this particular image okay let's move back to the 3500 to see what's happened with the software versions Hey, I have 1518 running right now. Let's move back to the screen here because that's the one we, we wanted initially. And if I look in the flash, I say, okay, 
uh, 16, uh, 14. I already put it on there to make sure that we don't need to do another copy TFTP uh, in order to speed up this video. So what I'm going to do now, now is boot system, flash, uh, and then I do it in the secondary image and also will reboot this file. Probably we will be disconnected immediately here, as you can see. Because if I had to do another TFTP, it will take another long time. So um, let's, uh, let's give it a couple of seconds before both switches are rebooted. Okay, this switch is not available yet and there it comes it is rebooting uh, you can see the image let's check for the certainty here and it's booting this image so this switch is upgraded via the HTTP running in the latest version for our infrastructure so we can close this down let's give it a couple of seconds before the 3500 is booted then we can verify if we are running then on the 1602 version. I will also do a telnet to the 2920 to show you on the command line. And then our infrastructure is completely set. Let's see if it is already booted. Let's do a restart. And there we are. 3500. Let's do a show version. We are running 1602. So we did an intermediate upgrade from 1515 to 1518 up to 1602 0014 running the latest and greatest. So if you look at the show flash, we still have 1518 running in there if you want to roll back or test something. So um, this has been a great upgrade. So let me tell that from the switch because you can also tell that from a switch into my 2920. Okay, that's connected there. Let me do a show version. As you can see, we are running uh, 1602.0014 and let me do you the show flash. And there's still nothing in the prime in the secondary image because we upgraded the primary image and not the secondary image and there was nothing in the secondary image. So we can still put something in there if we want to test or, or as backup or something like that. So let me log out here. Yes, and then we are back in the 3500. So this is the end of this video. Um, I hope I showed you three ways of upgrade USB, 3500 via TFTP, and you can also even do this via secure copy, etc., or secure FTP. Um, and we did one uh, via the web interface. And the web interface can be HTTP or HTTPS, depending on how you're configuring. I hope you like this video. This will definitely set the basics for our infrastructure because we have the management VLAN. We could do all the different upgrades now. Uh, and now we can move on to further configure to a real network. We have the good basics set up ready now. Hope you like this video. Hope you find it useful. If you really find it useful, please do a thumbs up and like the video. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any ideas or any questions, just leave comments. Thank you very much. And now we can safely roll into version 4 of this series. Bye-bye.